Today, we are celebrating the Chinese New Year a little bit early with Chinese snacks for the Chinese New Year with my Chinese fiance. Why are people eating this? Hi guys, today we're celebrating Chinese New Year a little bit early. Xin Yin Kuai Le. I'm here with my fiance, Jin Hao Zheng. He's a principal dancer here in the company. And he was born and he studied also in China. And in case this is your first video and you don't know who I am, I'm a soloist at the Bayer Schistoss Ballet and I am an American. And we met in London at our first job. We are celebrating the Chinese New Year a little bit early with Chinese snacks for the Chinese New Year with my Chinese fiance. We're very excited and we picked out snacks, noodles, and dessert. And I think most of these we haven't had before. No, so, for me it's also. Yeah, so we tried to pick some fun things that we can try and we're gonna rate them. The category breakdown for rating them is going to be the packaging, taste, texture, health. I think most of these are not gonna be healthy, but that's a category. And would I eat this again? Also on Instagram, I had asked my followers if they had any questions that we could answer for them. And so we're gonna be answering those in between eating. Most of those are ballet related. Let's start. We have all of our snacks. We have three Lay's potato chips and Cheetos. Which one do you wanna start with? For me, I'll start with the, the fish. This is fish. Yeah. It looks like it's pizza flavored. So this is like um, the sour vegetable. Oh. And then with the white fish. Oh, yeah, that's why there's a U on there. Yeah. They also have the same flavor for instant noodles. Okay. Also, I got Kwaiza. So I don't have to get my hands all dirty. <laughs> Classy. <clears throat> it's really good. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. It's so good. It feels weird with the chopstick eating <laughs> I saw um, Jen In do it. Mm. It's really good. It's like salt and vinegar chips a little bit. I don't taste a lot of sour. Did you taste the sour? Not really. Can I smell it? Mm. Oh, I didn't put smell as one. Smell should be a category. But to be honest, it smells like sour fish. It smells more like fish than it mm -hmm. tastes like fish. Then, yeah, more than taste. Okay, so packaging, I would say very good. Mm -hmm. It was exciting and it made us want to like eat it. Mm. Taste it wasn't like super sour. It wasn't like really hitting on that. But it's to really, be honest, I like it. You like it. Still very tasty though. Mm, it's still good. And smell, I think it smells more like what it's supposed to taste like than it actually tastes. Texture, very crunchy. It was really nice. Mm. It was a good crunch. Health, probably not. Would I eat this again? For me, yes. I like this. Yes. Do you like it? I would eat it again for mm. sure. Okay, okay I want to do the grilled squid mm. next. And Sweet. I'm excited about this one because it's got like the ridges. Mm. Whoa! <laughs> Actually, this one smells really like grilled. Like grilled. a grilled. Yeah. Tastes like barbecue. You don't taste um. Mm. But smells wow. Mmm. Do you know what I mean? It tastes kind of just like barbecue chips. Mm. But to be honest, I can taste a little bit more like squid. Oh, really? I could a little bit, yeah, more than this yeah, the fish one, I think. So I'd say packaging again, it's nice. Taste, for me, tastes kind of just like barbecue chips. Smell. Mm. I will give about five star. Smell. Five good. out of five? Five out of five, yeah. For me, I'm not like big on the smell because I'm not a big barbecue person. I'm a big barbecue yeah, person. Yeah, you like barbecue. That's why I really like it. And then texture, personally, I like it when it's a bit crunchier and this one's not quite as like crisp. I'll try it again. I'll Health, see. for sure, no. I think this is worse than the crispy ones. Would I eat this again? No. But do you like it? I would totally eat it again. You would eat it again, again. Yeah. yeah. I like this one. I think we should answer our first question. Okay. When did you start ballet and where? Me? Well, that was we my have, question. I mean, for me, I've already answered this question because I actually made a whole video on this, but just like short synopsis is that I started ballet. Like I was doing like gymnastics and like fun dancing. And then one time by accident, I went to a place that took ballet more serious. And then I quite liked it. That was like when I was like 11 or 12. Our story is quite similar. No, your story start, is so much better. No, I start dancing is also by accident. You love to tell this story. When I was, uh, I guess, three, four? Three or four. Three or four. And then I didn't like to eat food. I was really skinny. 
Mm -hmm. My parents want me to eat more food, so they think maybe I should do more activity, you know. And then Get back an then, appetite. I'm Chinese, so back then, like, Kung Fu is like very popular. I really want to start like doing Kung Fu first. I mean, obviously, it's very popular, so the classes are full. And then the next hour is like a dancing class. One of the lady who's in charge the dancing class saw me and my mom walking around because we don't know what to do anymore. They just ask my mom, do you want to try? And she tell my mom it's the same thing, you know, also you can run around, jumping around. My mom said, okay, sure. Which one do we want to do? Do we want to just do the last Lay's chips? I think I want to keep this last. Okay, so let's do the Cheetos. Yeah. I'm excited about the Cheetos. I love Cheetos so much. This is a steak. It's supposed to be a steak flavor. But it's just like more like a Japanese style. <laughs> wow. That is interesting. Mm, smells still like like Cheeto. Doesn't smell like a steak. To be honest, I feel like the fun part mm. of fun? Cheeto, which is a little bit spicy, mm. is gone. And then they kind of taste like the beef, but not really. I don't taste beef at all. Yeah. Mm. I think just like a normal Cheeto, like what I had before. Like, no, but very like less taste. I don't mm. taste cheese. Mm -mm. The packaging, I'm not sure I like the shiny. Taste, I think we're disappointed a little bit. Mm. The smell is like... It's okay. Texture was fine because I like Cheeto texture. Mm. Health, definitely no. <laughs> and would I eat this again? Not really. Like mm. I'll eat it because it's open already, but I'm not gonna buy it again. Mm. Well, before the, you go the high point, you have to go down. So. Yeah, it's probably better. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got roasted garlic I'm oyster. I'm really excited for this. Now. Yeah. The garlic and the noise. It's true, the garlic could be really good. <gasps> oh, it smells really good. It smells amazing. You really smell the garlic? Mmm. Mmm. This is one of the best in this part of them. I still like mm. the first one. Mmm. This like one, this you one. really can smell the garlic and then really mm -hmm. can taste the garlic. And also, I can taste the oyster somehow. Mm, the flavor, this one is really good. Mm. And I like a blue, so. Mm. Also, the packaging is amazing, smells amazing, mm. tastes amazing. Texture, again, I really like because I like the thin and crispy. Health, mm. maybe. Mm -hmm. I like this one. I'm 100%. Okay, I'm going to try the fish one again. Mm. Fish is my favorite. Somehow, if you compare, yeah, you can yeah. really taste the sour now, yeah? Yeah, it's a lot more sour. Mm. I think we mm. just had high expectations going in. I think the winner for me is the fish. For me, I think it's still the garlic and the oyster. Okay. Yummy. Cool. So snacks are done. Okay, we're gonna go on a break so that we can make the noodles. While the noodles are cooking, we're gonna answer a couple more questions. How did you both meet and how did you join Barish Thoughts Ballet? So we both met in London. Technically, you were in the final school year at English National Ballet School because mm -hmm. You kind of had to do that in order to get a working visa, mm -hmm. even though you had already graduated from Tanji University. <laughs> um, so you just did another year of school anyway. I was already in the company one year. So that's how we met and we started working together. Yes. And we had like mutual friends and stuff. Mm -hmm. So. Um, and conveniently we live very close. Yeah, you know? conveniently we live literally in the same postcode. It was really ridiculous. You lived like one, two blocks away. So yeah, that was, almost seven years ago. <laughs> we were at English National Ballet for, I don't know, like four years or something. And then we decided that we wanted to make a move. So after one of the tours, because we toured a lot, I don't have any problems because I'm American. So like, it's super easy for me to visit other European countries and blah, blah, blah. But for you, not so much because you have the Chinese passport. So then when we were, on tour and you had a Schengen visa still left from like when we had been in Poland. So we took a flight straight away from flying back to London with our company. Then we turned around, took another flight and we went to Munich and we auditioned. <laughs> However many weeks later, we ended up signing our contracts when we were in Japan. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. But that was a crazy turnaround time because it was probably like June or something at that point. And we just like packed our stuff up and moved all in one summer and it was crazy. We took a chance. We took a real chance, mm -hmm. yeah. 
so we're here in Munich now and we're doing pretty good, so. <laughs> One more question before we go back to the noodles. What's your favorite thing that you've danced together? I think that would be Giselle. I mean, we already did it, but I think it's on the small stage, yeah? It was on like a, it was with a school like in a the UK. Like a school show, yes. But it was Sir Peter Wright's version and like we borrowed Royal Ballet's costume. So it felt very nice, but it wasn't like, it was a very small stage mm -hmm. and we coached ourselves. Hopefully. Well, oh, I don't want to say that actually. Oh, um, <laughs> but <laughs> for, the, for those of you who don't know, I was supposed to have my debut as Giselle last weekend. I mean, he's done, you did, the season before already mm. here. So yes. it's not like really your debut, but it's our debut together. Also it's my first ever principal role then because there was COVID cases within the company and mm -hmm. we had to make sure it wasn't spreading, but the theater wasn't shut down. It was just that the ballet couldn't do Giselle. So our show got taken away, but we're hoping that something will happen and we get to do it. We hope, Yeah. but that will be the favorite. But also I really like, like I've enjoyed a lot of stuff that we've actually, we've done a lot of stuff together actually. Yeah. We did Chameleon Domin, mm -hmm. um, Lady of the Camillas, where we were um, not the main couple, but the Manon and Lascaux. Yeah. Broken we, Fall, even though that's Broken another Fall, guy. yes. Another principal dancer. Oh, we still dance together. And also we did this live stream during the pandemic lockdown. Oh yeah, <laughs> of Wayne McGregor. It was from Wayne McGregor and Yeah, we Paris. did a pot of different Pyros. We did the Spadkas, we did the Swan Lake part of the... Yeah, we were in Montana this summer. summer. That Actually, was we fun. Did a lot, yeah. I really Actually, liked Spartacus, that was fun. That was fun. Okay, should we check in? I think we should. Yeah. Okay, we're back. We have the noodles and we're ready to taste them. So these are like the Shanghai noodles. So let's have a little try. We did add eggs to make it a more complete meal. This one smelled the best also. Mm. Like straight away as soon as we started cooking it. Mmm. Really it's soft. It's like the chong yu mian. It's like uh, green onion noodles. Mm. This is very pleasant. Mm -hmm. It's not so heavy. Mm -mm. Mm. I think they usually add some Shanghai xiao lung bao. Oh, that would you be know, so the, good. Yeah, the fried one, you know, inside Ooh, the soup. Ooh, yes. Yeah. I like the Shanghai Xiaolong Bao, that Sheng one. Jian. I like any Xiaolong Bao, but Sheng Jian. Yeah. It's like a little bit more doughy and then they fry the bottom, but it still has the soup inside like a Xiaolong Bao. Mm -hmm. Very good. So what would we say? The packaging, really cute. Mm -hmm. I picked that one, no? Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, you this one looks fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Taste, it's very mild, but it's pleasant. Yeah. Smell, I like the smell of this one. This one smells nice. Texture, it's very soft. I like very, that. very soft, yes. I like that. Not it's not like chewy easy in to a bad eat. way. Yeah. Some light easy. lunch, that's perfect. Yes. Health, it might be okay. Yeah. This one might but be. But it's quite a lot for you because this noodles. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Would I eat this again? Yes. Yes. But I would definitely put more stuff in it. Like we're gonna eat it with the egg and then I think it will be very good. Mm -hmm. Which one should we try next? Maybe let's try this one. This is the less spicy than now. Okay. That one is the boss. So next is what? Like the snails noodles? Yeah, which is very popular at the moment. It's like a trendy thing. Because they think smells very bad, but actually tastes really good. In the noodles, we've got bamboo shoot, a crispy tofu, a pickle. This is pickles? Yes, that's pickles. And peanuts. Mm -hmm. I like a good crunch, so it's nice. It's a little bit spicy, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's not really spicy. It is spicy, but not so bad. I wouldn't want to eat the whole bowl. And it's very sour mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. As soon as we opened up the package, I felt grossed out. I, I hate this smell. I've always hated this smell. I, I can see some people saying stink. And also they're quite chewy. They're like thicker noodles. Mm -hmm. Which can be good or bad. It depends on your preference, I guess. Packaging was very nice. I liked it. Mm, packaging is great tells you that it's spicy, like it shows that it's spicy. The more you eat, more taste it gets. I would say for me, it's like not my favorite thing, but it is spicy and sour. So that's like two things. Mm. Smell for me, big fat no, definite no. I'm not a big fan, but I don't- You don't hate it. I don't hate it, yeah. The texture for me, I don't actually like that it's like chewy and thicker. Maybe next time we can cook even longer. 
more times. So. Yeah, maybe we were too hungry. But I have to say with the texture, not just with the noodles, but like the whole package, I really like because there's also peanuts, which adds a little crunch. Health, I think this is definitely not good for you. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, I think most noodles that are like kind of instant are not good yeah. for you. <laughs> would I eat this again? Me, no. For you, no. Uh, I think I would, I would yeah, eat it Yeah, I think you like yeah. it. Yeah. Next question is, do you find it difficult to highlight your moments on stage with other fellas or partners? No. Like, I definitely don't think it's like awkward or anything. Like, I would just say it's probably more fun and I feel least embarrassed to like share stuff if it's with you because I can instantly ask you like, do you like this photo? Is it fine? But like for somebody else, I don't really want to have to ask them. Okay. When is your debut of Giselle? <laughs> we don't know, it got canceled. <laughs> I don't know, I hope soon. Shall we do the, the last, last one. noodles? Yes. Are we excited about this one? I think this one's gonna be very sour. This spicy. one was the last one left. It was very yeah, popular. Very popular. Like, That's why we got this. Yeah, we got it because we didn't know anything about it, but like it was gone. Like everyone had taken it. Exactly the same thing. If you like pass by a like Chinese restaurant, if you see there's a like full of people, then it's definitely a good restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> also, like we're using a fork because that's what it comes with. Mmm. It's very spicy, but it's tasty. The smell like is it. very spicy. Spicy. I like it. Mmm. Oh my god. So good. You're wearing white, be careful. Oh, packaging is convenient and it comes with a fork. Yeah. So if you're looking for convenience, it's very good packaging. Yeah. It's red. It suits the Chinese you. Taste for me, I, I like it. Mm. I just wish it was more like comprehensive. Like it definitely tastes like a cheap instant noodle. Mm. Like it's not, you know. And then there's, there's like kind of like some little vegetables in here, but the peas are bad. Smell. <laughs> Smell, I like it. It tastes more spicy than it smells. Yeah. Don't don't brush it when you eat it. Texture, it's very soft. Yeah. And these are like the vermicelli like rice noodle. Health, this is definitely bad for you. Would I eat this again? No. I would totally eat this again. Yeah, you would. This is very spicy. Yeah. I like. It. I think it would be good if you had like a soft egg in there. I've been waiting to get back to this one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> for me, I prefer this one just because more soft. I, it's soft and like. I can't eat all the spicy. And I just feel like it's comforting. Okay, so you're maybe like the boss one, yeah. the the snails, Snail and then the and Shanghai. The, and then the Shanghai. For me, it's definitely Shanghai. And I then I don't spicy. know. No, maybe. But you hate this. But you hate this. But smell. I like all the stuff. I like that it's a more comprehensive meal than this boss one, which just tastes like cheap instant noodles. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna eat a little, we'll come back for dessert. Okay, we're back. These are pretty fun. I mean, I kind of want to start with this one, okay? I know. Why does it look like Japanese? Because uh, Japanese milk tea, maybe? We were excited about this one because most of them were gone again. So we're like going by what is almost sold out. It's got like the Jenju Nai Cha flavor. The bubble on. tea. The bubble tea flavor going on. I am very skeptical though of this packaging. See, my imagination is like, there will be like uh, the bubble inside the cookies. So you will get the crispy and then also the chewy. Yeah, I think either. that they're faking it and we're gonna be disappointed. You're gonna be disappointed. No, I okay. think I'll, I'll be. Uh, I think I'm right. We'll find out. Ooh, I don't know. Oh. oh no. I told you, there is not any kind of a bubble tea um, tapioca Wait. thing going on. Very crispy. Is it chewy inside? This is so good. Why are people eating this? What happened? This is horrible. I'm not eating anymore. The cracker is really gross. Yeah, I taste the milk tea part that's in the middle, but it's very uneven. They actually have the tabiuri inside. Look, the black part, that's the tabiuri. Tabiuri. <laughs> Tapioca. 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 It's supposed to be crispy, but I think is this um, inside sauce make the the this cookies less crispy, which is like feels like it's been there for ages. The texture is bad, like zero out of five. This is supposed to be crispy, but it's not, like you said. I 
and then it's like stuck together. It feels like glue. Look at this packaging, okay? I knew I was gonna be disappointed in some way, but I'm shocked by how much I hate this. I think most people probably like... Think it looks cute, right? They bought it because the package. The packaging, yes. Oh, it's gonna be sweet. This is a big light down. This is a huge let down. Also, it says nougat biscuit. I mean, what about that makes you think it's gonna be like salty? This is not dessert. I don't know what this is. I would say just like across the board, bad. Didn't smell like anything. Mm. Packaging was good, but it was a big lie. <laughs> uh, taste, bad. Texture, bad. Health, I can't believe it's good for you. Would I eat this again? No. I wouldn't eat that again. Wow. I think I will finish this package, but I won't buy that again for sure. You can finish it by yourself. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I feel about this one now because this package also looks amazing. This is the Dorian roll egg rolls. Whatever the the white people egg roll is, is like not what an egg roll is. So this is what an egg roll is and it's like dessert. Yeah. And it's very crispy. They can be so good. I really love them. Mm -hmm. But it's with Dorian fruit, which you love. It's my favorite. And I <clears throat> do not like it. I think I ruined it. You ruined but it. But in the beginning, you eat it. Actually, I did eat it and it I didn't mind it. It's because we left in the fridge for like a week. And then everything in the fridge turned into smell like Dorian. With Dorian, it's usually like you either love it or you hate it. Okay, but let's try because I was, I saw this and I said like we should get it because I think you're gonna like it. Mm. I don't know if I'll like it. Yeah, this is packaged just, like a normal egg roll situation. Let me smell first. Oh yeah, ruined <laughs> it. smell like Dorian. Yeah, I smell it. I smell Oh shoot. See, this is the problem with this packaging for the egg rolls. They break really easy. Mm. Disappointed? No, no, no. Mm. Mm. Actually, you really taste the darling, no? Mm -hmm. But see, I don't ha hate mm. the taste, actually. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't really hate the taste of Dorian. It's like, it's fine. Mm. It's just the smell. Mm. But, I mean, I like the, the egg roll dessert kind of thing, so... It's more like, in the beginning, you taste the Dorian. Hmm. And then the more you eat, you taste more like egg roll. The it's egg roll nice. is, um, I don't know, how do you describe it to someone who's never had one? Like, it's very soft, delicate. Eggy, butter. Crispy. Yeah, crispy. eggy, butter. Yeah. Like a little vanilla. But not like overly sweet. Not, not like overly American sweet. dessert. I think didn't let me down this mm. dessert. I like it. I have to give the packaging like a huh because although they do make it obvious that it's Dorian, I think these egg roll packaging, I just wish they would do a better job because this always happens where it gets kind of broken. What is this? It's a Macau thing, I think. Uh, taste? It's a very good combination. You can mm. taste both. You can also taste Dorian, also egg, egg roll. So. Mm. I would say good, even for somebody who doesn't necessarily love Dorian fruit. The smell for me, it's like, I just don't like Dorian, so I don't I like it. I love it. I think it smells so tasty. Yeah. Texture was good. Yeah. Health? I don't know. <laughs> you got fruit in there. <laughs> and then would I eat this again? I mean, you would eat this again. It right? just like, it made me wanna just get a real fruit. I did get surprise you, remember? I bought, like I went online and it was really difficult. And I found a place that like sells Dorian fruit. So I did, I bought you a box. But my point was, I did, I did surprise you mm -hmm. with Dorian fruit before. Yeah. And that made you really happy. That was really nice. Okay, let's go to our last dessert, which is pretty classic. What do you call this cake? Dan Huang Su. Mooncake. Oh, it's not mooncake. I would just say dem thing. It's like this cake that they have that has like egg yolk inside, but it's sweet. I love these kinds of cakes, but we've never had this particular one in this particular brand. Let me open it. Yes. It's like six of them inside. Mm. They're perfect for like sharing with people. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's tiny. Oh, it smells so good. Smells like vanilla bean. Is that low? Yeah, it's low battery. Gotta finish. Mmm. Nice. Mm. Is that a little? Mm -hmm. Did you taste the eggs? Yeah. Mmm. Mm. Very nice. I like it for a little difference that there's red bean in mm -hmm. there. What would we say about this one? Packaging was good. And I there like that go. it's individually wrapped, even if maybe that's not environmentally friendly. I think yeah. it's very convenient because no one can go through the whole box like before they'd go bad. Taste? Perfect. Smell? Also great. Yeah, it's true. I did smell it straight away. I was like, this is great. Texture? I like it, 
But sometimes I like when they're like a little bit crispier on the outside. Crispy and then I, like I, more flaky. I like it more like to be like mochi inside, mm. a little bit chewy. It could be more. Yeah. If we're being very picky. Picky. Yeah. Health. I'm not sure these are great for you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest, they're very dense, you know? Would I eat this again? Absolutely. Absolutely. I will be eating these on Chinese New Year for sure. Yep, mm. for sure. Okay, hold on. We have two more questions. How are we going to be celebrating Chinese New Year? I think we're going to invite our friends. And then we're gonna make some uh, hot pot and then we will make some uh, dumplings. Every single year we make jiaozi, Uh and jiaozi is the best. Dumplings are the best for Chinese New Year. You have to have them. Yes. This is like absolute must. Past 12 o'clock, yes. Must. And then we're gonna watch the traditional Chinese TV show. And then I also will make some um, uh, non spicy uh, mini lobster. And also talk to your parents. Yeah. When it's all. actually midnight for them. Hold on, this is a silly one. Can we dress up mochi as? What is this? Charles Hammer was like this cat. Oh, the fortune, <laughs> the fortune cat. Before my camera dies and everything dies, thank you guys so much for watching. If this is the first time you're watching, also, this is like the first time you've been really interacting. I know. This is the Hope first time you guys video. like it. If you celebrate Chinese New Year, Xinyin Kuai Lo, and have a good time. And what's the one that's like the money one? Gong Chi Fa Tai. Gong Chi Fa Tai. Like the video, please, if you like it. Like, subscribe. If like you... the video and then don't forget to turn on the alarm. No, do yeah. not do notifications. <laughs> oh my god. I don't do that for anyone. I think you do that for me. See you next week. <laughs>